For the greater Baltimore area, this freezing rain ice storm was the worst weather we've seen this winter. On the eastern shore, they did have one good storm that brought up to 10 inches of snow. This hasn't happened in at least 15 years. The State Highway Administration has seen a windfall from the mild winter. The 2016-17 winter budget is $61 million, and so far, $36 million has been spent, mainly on storms that didn't materialize and the eastern shore storm, leaving an extra $25 million. As far as salt, 380,000 tons are budgeted, and only 58,000 tons have been used, leaving plenty on hand. It'll just sit in the shops, you know, and it doesn't go bad. It's material, you know, elements, so it, it'll sit in the tanks, it'll sit in the barns and the domes and everything, and then if need be, we'll just go ahead and stock up for next year and get everything ready to go for the next winter. Well, this year, my guys have literally gone out uh, two or three times for, for some icing events, and that's it. Dave Ewell owns the Outdoor Advantage, a landscaping and snow removal company. At least 50% of his business comes from snow removal, and this mild winter has been really hard on his hundreds of subcontractors. I hold the contracts seasonally. I get paid whether it snows or it doesn't, um, but my subcontractors are really suffering this year because they've had literally maybe four or five hours each. And hardware stores like Clark's Ace and Ellicott City are feeling the pinch, too. After poor sales on winter items like shovels and ice melt, they've got to get in the spring fever, too. Start selling some grills, uh, we're getting the mowers out, starting to pack up the winter stuff. Lowell Melser, WBAL-TV 11 News.